All right, so we're going to be doing what's called high intensity interval training, HIT or Tabata training. So in this class, just remember that you'll be doing certain exercises in very specific time intervals, 20 seconds on and 10 seconds off. I'll keep the time for you. So when you're working hard, just remind yourself when you hear the word change, that doesn't mean stop. It's the only time I'll say that word. So once you hear it, take a knee, take a moment wherever you're at. It's about the time, not about how many you do or how fast you're doing things. Also, if you have any injuries, just be very mindful of what's going on with your bodies and just take the proper choice in the type of exercise that you do just so that you don't further or create bigger injuries for yourself. So let's get started. We'll start with the warm up. So go ahead and stand on up. Now let's start bringing your arms up at shoulder height. Pull your knees to your arms. Pull right knee, pull left knee. Right and left. Try to get up nice and high. Try your best to create a crunch. 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 Remember this breath. Big exhale. Keep going. Take arms overhead. Add an arm pull. Pull. Pull as you lift. We add a cross. Cross to cross. All the way, left and right. Let's get four more. Three, two, last one. Good. Take your feet all the way to the back of your space. Walk your hands out nice and long. Come into this TV or our pike position. Let's paddle your heels. Bend right knee, bend left knee. Right and left several times. Let's warm up your feet. And then slowly take a moment to shift forward to your plank. And then shift back into that pike position. Feel free to do some yes no with your head. And then gently drop to your knees so I can show you what our first plank variation looks like. Your forearms come down to the floor for a forearm or low plank. Toes are tucked under, core is nice and tight, kicks stay low. They do not keep you up toward the ceiling, we keep them down. The exercise, shift forward, twice, shift back, twice. If that is too hard, stay here in a hold. Let's get four sets going, stand up, forearms to the floor, toes are tucked under. Let's start, forward, two, back, two, forward two counts. Now remember to lift your fingertips the whole time. Try not to lift anywhere else. Breathe into the nose and out the mouth. Stay with it. Change, drop to your knees. Take a 10 second breather. And then we get to do that three more times. Forearms are down, lift to your fingertips. Let's do that again. Shift forward, two, shift back for two, good. Now these forearm planks, they're really good to help strengthen your full body. So your back is working, your core is working, your butt and your thighs, everything together. So really give yourself that nice full breath. Shift forward, shift back. Change, drop to your knees. Good job. We do this two more times. So pull your forearms down, look toward your fingertips, prop it up. Let's go, forward, two, back. Two. Now be sure that you're very flat, not sticking that booty up. Remember, we keep it nice and low. Good. Can you pull that navel in a little bit more? Yes. Power through those abs. Good. Stay with your breath. Into the nose, out to the mouth. Change. Drop it down. Nice job. All right. We got one more set. Let's do it together. Forearms are down. Toes are tucked. Ready. Let's shift. Forward. Two. Back. Two, two counts forward, two counts back. Power through those thighs, let them help you. Remember, it's a full body workout. Breathe into the nose, chin up, out to the mouth. You're here, three, two, one, change. Now send those hips all the way back. Spread your knees apart and send the arms along in front of you. We get a nice stretch here to let go of any pressure in the back and to stretch out the shoulders. Our next exercise 
is for your back strength. So come onto your belly, chin forward, looking to the front of your mat. And your arms and legs nice and long, as long as you can. So the bottom part should be familiar to you. A flutter kick, flutter those feet, but we get to add the arms. Send them out and do the same motion with your arms. It's called a swimmer. Let's take a nice full breath. First set. Ready. Let's go. Swim. Breathe. So remind yourself of your breath. And we want the chest lifted. Looking forward, find your maximum breath. Keep going. Change. Gently drop down. Good work. Now we get to do four total. You have three left. Keep your arms and legs super long. Let's get ready. Drop your toes up. Lift your chest. Begin. Swim. So not only are you really working onto the lower body, getting those strong legs, your glutes help you get these thighs up off the floor. And then see if you can. Lift your chest up. Let's work into that back strength. Arms are as straight as you can get them. Yes, good job. Breathe, change, way to go. Drop down. Now those are hard to do, especially because you have every muscle in your body working. Let's bring the arms up, legs up. Third set, vegan, swim. Now find your breath into the nose, out your mouth. We look for that challenge. Can you keep your legs extra straight, core zipped in, even though you're on your belly, you're still using your core. Keep going. Three, two, one. Change. Woo! Good work. Let's get one last set in. Bellies to the floor. Arms are long. Let's lift your chest. Let's go. Swim. Last one. Can you get your thighs any higher? Can you get your chest any higher? Find your breath work. You're in this. Last and final set. Way to go. We got it. Three, two, and one. Drop down. Take a few seconds to breathe. Relax. And then we get to turn around and move right into your ab work. So go ahead and flip over. Come onto your backs. And send your legs up into a medium-sized V. So they're not glued together. They're not just slightly apart, and they're not huge. It's somewhere in the middle, medium-sized V. Imagine you have a giant rope coming through the center. You'll reach up with your shoulders to try to get to the top of the rope and then switch, reach up with the other side. Please be sure that you keep a space here between your chin and your chest. This exercise is not about your neck curling in. It's about your shoulders lifting up. So you lift up and reach, lift up and reach. Come up as high as you can. We do two exercises. Second one, send your feet to the floor. As you do this work, remember, big space between chin and chest, hands are behind your head. Now imagine, I gave you a metal pole from the top of your head into your sternum. It's all going together. Lift up nice and high, circle. Lift up and circle. Elbows stay wide. Try not to curl in. We keep it open, circle. On the second set, we'll circle the other way. Let's do four sets all together two exercises that means eight total reps let's go for it take those legs up towards the ceiling feet are flexed let's go for that reach reach right reach left up up keep it going exhale reach up try to get up as high as you can using that max breath Change. Gently drop your feet to the floor. All right, we got this again. Let's lift those shoulders up, hands, elbows super wide. Let's go. Circle right. Lift up, circle. Try your best to lift the whole shoulder off the floor. So it's not just about your neck putting in a circle. That whole metal bar is taking the whole upper body around. Change. Gently drop down. All right, we go back to the first exercise. Send your legs up to the ceiling. Flex your feet, lift them flat. Let's get ready, reach up for that rope. Begin, lift up, reach right. Lift up and reach left. Keep this going. Now do your best. Keep that nice little long space between your chin and your chest. Breathing through. Exhale, lift. Exhale, lift. Keep it going. Now use your maximum breath control. Yes, way to go. Nice job. Change, gently relax down. Beautiful, all right. You get to go back to those circles. 
Hands are behind the head, chin up. Lift your shoulders high, circle to the left. To the other direction. So we're leading with the obliques, your muscles just right above your belly on the side. You're doing your best to lift up, contract, and come around. Let's strengthen those muscles a little bit more. Excellent. Change, gently relax down. Good work. Now we get to go back to exercise one. Legs up to the ceiling, feet are flat. Reaching up, see if you can, go even higher. Begin, reach with the right, reach with the left. So imagine you're trying each time to come up and reach even higher. We're getting those shoulders to come off the floor. Get them up even more. Good. Nice big reaches. Each exhale up. Good, keep going. Change, way to do it. Nicely done. Good job, Tyler. Let's take those elbows super wide. Chin up, let's circle. You're going back over to your right again. Ready, let's go. Lift up, circle to the right. Now, elbows are as wide as you can hold them, and you're looking to the ceiling. Oftentimes, people find that gaze somewhere else. Always look up during up. Breathe, exhale, lift. Exhale, circle. That exhale's there to help you. Use your breath. Change, way to go. We got one last set. I get to do them with you. Legs are up to the ceiling. Remind yourself, you're over that highest reach. Let's go, reach right, reach left. Exhale up. Can you get any higher? Can you reach past your feet all the way up? You're almost done. Stay strong. Lift up. Change. Good. Drop your feet down. Good. We have one last little piece. This is it. Then we're done with these upper abs. Hands are behind your head. Elbows wide. Chin up. Lift your shoulders. Let's go. Circle left. Circle to the left. Now remind yourself, elbows are wide. Chin up, look to the ceiling. Exhale up. You're almost there. Change, gently drop. Way to go. Let's pull your knees in nice and close to your chest. Squeeze your knees in as tight as you can. Then get a nice stretch with those arms. Lengthen out through the body. Try to stretch out. It's called a pencil stretch. Become long, lean like a pencil. All right, we'll go right into your lower abs. Now, this is working into the lower part of your rectus abdominis muscles where you get those eight pounds. Hands are pressed into the floor next to your hips. Legs come up towards the ceiling, glued tight together. Feet are flexed. So either flat, toes closer towards your face. With your maximum level of control, we'll go down for four counts. Down, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. Most important part about this exercise has nothing to do with how low your legs go. Everything to do with where your back is. So your back has to stay glued to the floor. Your ribs and your hips must stay glued tight to each other. If you find that you lift up, creating this space underneath, you've lost the exercise. So we gotta go back to those fundamentals. Press the back down, glue the ribs and hips tight, and as you come down, you only go in as far as you can without letting it pop up. Then you come right back up to your start position. Doesn't matter how low you go, it matters how tight or pressed down that back is. Two exercises again. Legs come into tabletop position. This means your knees are stacked over your hips and your legs, the bottom part of your legs, parallel to the floor. We lift up from here. Lift up. It's called the reverse crunch. Lift the knees to the ceiling. My thighs do not come closer to the chest. They must stay straight over the hips. Lift and lift. Use your exhale to make that happen. Let's do four sets. Take your legs up to the ceiling. Flex your feet. Use your abs. Four counts. Begin. It's down, two, three, four, up, two, three, and four. Down four counts. Now remind yourself to use that back. Press it to the floor. It's down, two, three, four, bow up, two, three, and change. Gently drop your feet to the floor. We go into exercise number two. 
Legs are into tabletop, reverse crunch. Let's go. Lift, lift. Exhale up. Exhale up. Use your breath. Exhale lift. Remind yourself, it doesn't have to be big, but it has to be from the right spot. Use those lower APAC abs to lift up. Exhale lift. Change. Drop to the floor. Good work. We get to do four total sets. You got three more. Legs are up to the ceiling. Feet are flexed. Lower down. Let's go. Down. Two. Three. Four. It's up. Two. Three. And four. Take your time. They're nice and slow on purpose. We're moving to your lowest point, whatever that is. That is okay to stop at 45 degree angles. Change. Drop down. Bring the legs to tabletop. 90 degree angle here with your legs. We pull those knees to the ceiling. Begin. Lift. Lift. Now remind yourself. Use your breath. Exhale to lift up. Exhale to lift up. And use the knees. Go straight to the ceiling. They're not coming in closer to the chest. You're going straight up. Good. Exhale. Nice job. Working into those lower abs. Yes. Change. Drop down. Good work. Legs are up. You've got two sets left. Legs are up. Feet are flexed. Down for four. Let's go. Down. Two. Three. And four. And it's up. Two. Three. And four. Lower down. Now that lower back is glued to the floor. Remind yourself. Try not to lift it up. Keeping those ribs and hips tight to each other. Try not to let them separate. Using your breath. If they separate, go a little bit less. Change. Way to go. We've got one minute left. You can do this. Forearms. Give me those legs come up into the tabletop. Press the palms to the floor. Let's do it. Lift. Perfect. Now these reverse crunches, they're not big at all. They're teeny tiny movements, but they come straight from those lower abs. So let's really get them to get stronger. Exhale, lift up. Exhale, lift up. Find that little baby contraction and make it a little stronger. Change. Good. We've got one last set. We got it. Let's take those legs to the ceiling. Feet are flexed. Take it down. Let's go. Down. Two. Three. Four. Up. Two. Three. And four. Find your lowest point. Ribs and hips tight. Do not let them separate. You're almost there. You got this. Last one. Change. Good. Drop down. All right. We're in it. One last 20 second segment. Take those legs to tabletop. Let's take those knees up. Let's go. Reverse crunch. Last one. You can do this. Use your breath. Exhale up. That breath is everything. Those exhales help you. Try to make it work a little harder. Don't give up. You've come too far. Change. Drop down. Way to go. Pull your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug. And let's get a nice stretch. Arms and legs nice and long. Nice job. All right. Now we get to work into our glutes to work our stronger butt. So take your feet. Press them to the floor. Feet are flat. Your hands close to those hips. Squeeze your glutes to lift your hips up off the mat. Now, please be mindful. This is not a yoga bridge. It's a Pilates bridge. So a Pilates bridge requires that your middle and upper back are still down, while the other part of your middle and your lower back are off. A yoga bridge will have you come up even higher. We're only going so that the middle back is barely touching. As you're here, first exercise, we tap twice. So it's tap, tap, tap. Squeeze to lift. Now when we lift, the abs contract. So really give yourself that core engagement every time you lift. Tap, tap, squeeze, lift. Exercise number two. Keep the hips up nice and high. It requires a lot of work from your hamstrings. Lift your right knee, set it down. Lift your left knee, set it down. Now this is not a huge lift. You don't have to go very far. Maybe an inch or two, set it down. Inch or two, set it down. The opposite side of your feet. Your butt will work hard as you lift that leg up temporarily and then set it down. Let's get four of each. Palms down, feet close. Let's get ready. Lift your hips up nice and high. Two taps, begin. 
in. Tap, tap, squeeze. Tap, tap, squeeze. So two taps, one squeeze. Now you're trying your best every time you squeeze to come up to your highest point. Change, gently relax down. We'll go into our second exercise. The exercise has our hips high. So let's squeeze up, get ready, let's go. Right knee lifts, left knee lifts. One right, one left. Now those hips stay nice and high. Do not let them drop down. That's part of the work. One right lift, one left lift. You're almost there. Breathe, exhale up. Change, gently drop down, way to go. We've got it, four total sets, you can do this. Take your feet flat, lift your hips up, two taps, let's start. Tap, tap, squeeze, lift. Two taps, one lift to the center. Can you try to get that work to come up to your highest point? Change, drop, relax. Now there's no work. Give yourself 10 seconds off. We go right back again. Feet are flat. Let's lift your hips up. March, right, left. Keep those hips up high. Breathe through your work here. Now we look for a challenge by keeping those hips at their highest point. Control it. Very easy to let go of the control here. Remind yourself of your breath. Change, gently drop down. All right, we've got it. Two more sets. Take those feet flat. Squeeze those glutes. Lift your hips. Let's go. It's tap, tap, squeeze, lift. Two times. Stay strong. You got this. Use your max breath. We're almost there change. Way to go. All right. We've got one minute left here. Let's find that nice high cheek position. Let's go. Lift your hips. Right knee. Left knee. Now remember, in this position, those hips stay nice and high. The core stays tight and engaged the entire time. Then try to relax your shoulders. Try not to let them hunch up into your ears. We do our best to let the lower body do the work. Good work. Exhale up. Change. Gently drop. Good work. One last set. Let's try it. Take your feet flat. Lift your hips up nice and high. Last time. Two taps. It's tap, tap, lift. Two taps. One squeeze. Now at the top, I want you to squeeze extra tight, especially this last set. Two taps. Squeeze and tuck. Let's get that extra work. Way to go. You're nearly done. Stay strong. Change, good, one last one, I'll do it with you. Let's try it, get those marches going. Feet are flat, lift your hips up. Last 20 seconds, you can do it. Let's go, right, and left. Remind yourself of your breath. If you're holding your breath, remember a big exhale out. Change, gently drop down. All right, let's get a nice set of stretches. Pull your knees in tight to your chest, give yourself a big hug. And then slowly drop your feet flat to the floor. And let's kick your feet together, your knees apart. Just let your legs, knees come out separated to each other. See if you just get that nice stretch. And then we'll do the opposite. So tick tock your feet all the way out to the sides. Push your knees together and let your feet come apart. And then slowly pull the knees in, rock and roll yourself all the way up, flip over, and then let's come right onto your feet to get into our tricep work. This is nice and slow, so we're reminding yourself to take this a little bit slower than the rest of class as we're trying to slow you down and come into your recovery time. So let's go ahead and change your tempo out and get you started with this nice slower beat. For your triceps, you'll place your hands very close to your hips with your toes toward, with your fingertips toward your toes. Bend your elbows, bend, 
and extend back up to a straight arm. So we bend the elbows down, we extend back up to straight. This is it, it's pretty simple. Let's make it nice and controlled. It's about your elbows bending. Let's go for it, ready? Begin. Bend and extend. Bend and extend. So we're keeping the core tight, chin up, trying to shift your weight all the way back and using those triceps to press up to straight. Shake, gently relax. Now we're not going anywhere with those hips, they're staying on the floor. We'll go for three more sets. Bend the elbows, begin. Bend, press, extend. Working, developing nice strong arms. Change, gently relax. If you need to, you're always welcome to roll your wrists around. Readjust if necessary. We've got two more to do. Bend the elbows. Let go. Bend and extend. We're slowing down, giving your body the chance. Change. Good. We've got one more. The backs of the arms should be working. Let's get into this last round. Bend and extend. Last set. Begin. Bend. Extend. Pressing through to the floor. Go to straight arms. Change. Good work. So come onto your backs. Lie down. Come onto that nice, relaxed space. We call this Savasana, dead body pose. Allow your bodies to relax and enjoy your few breath cycles here. If possible, big inhale, six, seven, or eight seconds long. And then match the exhale, same length of time. Let's slowly bend your right leg and pull it into your chest, holding on tight with your 10 finger tight interlocked grip. Pull it in just a few extra seconds to get that nice stretch. And then gently set it down and switch over. Get your left leg up, give yourself that nice big, big, big pull. And then gently set that down. Pull both legs in tight. And then slowly separate your feet and drop them down so that they come flat to the floor on the outside edges of your mat. Drop your knees all the way over to the right. We'll get a windshield wiper stretch. So we're just stretching out through the hamstring, through the quad, into the side seat, your gluteus maximus, minimus, and medius, into the obliques, your exterior obliques and interior obliques, stretching out all the way up and then slowly coming back through to the center and then going all the way to the other side. Dropping as far as possible, stretching out, lengthening the body. And then come back through to the center, pull your knees in again and use that to help rock and roll yourself up to your seated position. We'll get a nice twist. So send your right hand behind your back, left hand to your knee and lift up and twist your body all the way around and then slowly come back through to the center lift up and go the other way come back through to the center let's get to roll the shoulders let it open up let it feel nice loosen out those shoulders get rid of whatever tension and tightness that is in there and go the other way And let's relax the shoulders and move with the neck. So you get that nice gentle roll, let it feel good. And then go the other way. And then 
find yourself back to the center. We'll take a breath together. Inhale, take your arms up. Hands into prayer. Exhale. Place your hands into your heart center. Just take a moment to acknowledge the work that you've done today with your body for the acknowledgement of moving, for creating amazingness inside of you. Continue to work hard. Continue to move your body. These things that we live in, they get to last us a really long time. Sometimes 90, 100 years. So the better you take care of them now, the better they'll be for you as you get older. So be sure to work hard, to get moving, and you'll be so happy you did. Give yourself a big round of applause.